as the electromagnetic field reader continues to detect a high amount of energy. An anomaly quickly appears, heading towards Vera and then disappearing into her arm. Could this be a manifestation of the spirit energy being detected by our EMF reader? As I pull back the curtain to check the closet, what appears to be a hand seems to slide down the curtain. Now, this could just be gravity, but when looking at it closer, it seems to have some force behind it, as my hand is pulling back the curtain and remaining still at the top. But there's another thing that makes this evidence just a little bit more compelling. What appears to be a second set of hands at a very small height and another section of the curtain can be seen pushing on the curtain. Now, I really don't know what to make of this. There was no one in the closet, as I'm about to show you here. As I pull back the curtain, you can clearly see in the closet there there's nobody in there. And I have no explanation as to why the curtain would move with such force like that, or why there would even be a second set of hands at child's height in the curtain. So the only way to figure this out is I'm gonna have to test this when I make another trip to the house. Oh, that one smells like ass and burger cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sage, man. To any negative energies and spirits attached to anything in this house and in this room, you are not welcome here. Please get away from the EMF detector as you are not welcome unless you are trying to send us a warning We mean no harm to any of the neutral and good spirits. I'm gonna just shut that fucker off, cause uh. I'm gonna just shut that fucker off, cause uh. I'm gonna just shut that fucker off, cause uh. Something in the closet? You don't want us here? It's left hand. Yeah. away from the device. We do not want you near it. There's got to be something going on here. Let me get away from it. How about that? Now I'll go back in that corner. I'm in the exact same spot you were. There it is. Yeah. Do you not like me? Do you not want me to be here? Do you not want me to be here?
flatlined immediately. Like, hi Spike. Flatline. Immediate, like, point five. I heard that to you. Immediate, like, point five. Point five. I heard that to you. I wonder if this is the same spot in the attic where we were getting. Uh, the secret room is right, right there. Bathroom. bathroom. Check the bathroom. As soon as I walk in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah, like. It's walking with us, whatever it is. Point five, not z not point zero five, point five again. Dropped. That uh, look passage thing is right in here somewhere. Okay, so check. Okay, right there's the light. Yeah. Cause so. Yeah, but look, we right. <laughs> that we that, sh we shouldn't be getting mm -mm. that type of spikes. Okay, there's the light. That secret passage should be right there in that corner. There somewhere. The living room is directly below us. Nope. <laughs> I said I can't tell where that drop is, but there's the light. Mm -hmm. So that doorway passage is going to be in that corner in the boys' closet. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, it's still here with me. Like it's. And it's like kid height. Mm hmm. I think this might be the kid. Oh, wow. What? That would explain why he's running around. Yeah. So he's playing with it. You, it. Is it you? Are you the Are you the kid spirit? Can you make it spike into the red? Are we playing red light, green light? Like we're in school? Red light, green light? Is that what we're doing right now? As we are interacting with what seems to be the child spirit. A light anomaly appears behind Tyler and then head towards the EMF reader. What makes this even more interesting is that the anomaly appears to be waist high. Could this also be the same spirit that we captured breaching my shadow earlier in the evening? You're the kind spirit, right? I wonder if that's the oh I wonder if that's the little boy that played with Carson. <gasps> Are you the little child that plays with Carson here? Are you the little child that plays with Carson here? It's okay. We just want you to know that it's okay if you play with him. Do you play? Said, yeah, what? <laughs> is it okay that we're talking to you? Okay. How old is he? How old are you? Can you can you make it spike to how old you are? Are you three? How old are you? Can can you make it hold a steady number of how old you are? So the way Carson plays with him, I'd say about four. So, when I have it pointed right here, mm -hmm. he's here. Can you tell me on this device how old you are? So the way it's, Carson plays with him, I'd say about four. So when I have it pointed right here, mm -hmm. he's here.
Can you tell me on this device how old you are? Try the attic. Give it a little run. You want to? About ten more minutes. Sure. And then we'll call it. His uh, battery's almost dead. That works for me. God damn, is it cold? Oh well, you're good. I know there's vents up here. You feeling okay, man? Yeah. <laughs> Those letters downstairs, they were B and G, right? Uh, GB, I think. By... By golly? By golly? Yeah. yeah. This is the middle of the floor here. Did you just find something? Revs, Revs, Kenneth, and Dorothy Rowan. What? You just found that? PO Box 169, Mount Morris, PA 15349. Sitting right there on the floor. No fucking... Reverend no, I Kenneth just picked and this here Dorothy up. Rowan. Remember the letters downstairs was B and G. This is laying here upside down. I flipped it over and it says, by golly. By golly. Dude, that's nuts. I can't believe you guys have found that. We were up here earlier and it was sitting right here. So we all missed it. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, Nick. Let's mm -hmm. not follow this fucking hole. Oh, yep. I've never been up here with the lights off. Okay, where are you at? I am terrified of the dark. This is not cool. Come here. <laughs> oh, no, we ain't doing that now. Nope, I'm coming near you. We were communicating with something in the attic over in that secret room. And I was wondering if you could come over here into the center of the floor. There's a device. So if you walk over and you touch this guy right here, it should light up. You've all got us collectively up here. And I think you've been leading us up here since the beginning. Is there is there anything up here with us right now? Can you knock on something? Can you walk around? Can you walk to the center of the floor and touch that red rod? anyone is up here with us can you knock on the walls or one of uh, the beams here like so we only we are only here to communicate we don't mean any harm we just want to figure out what is going on in this house which so far uh, everything seems been pretty fine and I don't know if you're just hiding from us
you feeling, Nick? No, I'm fine. You guys seem pretty okay. Mm-hmm. You know what's weird is like I felt um I don't know, I felt a little bit more weird when uh it was it was earlier. But now it like it's pretty calm. <clears throat> Unless we drew everything out up here the first time. True. And they kind of like migrated downstairs. Maybe. Like they migrate to the upstairs. Migrate to the upstairs. If uh, you're here with us and you are touching that rod, yeah, I see you. There you are. Uh, go ahead and you can touch it even more. It'll glow even brighter. And we'll, it will let us know that you're here. And we'll, it will let us know that you're here. It's faintly gone. Real faint. Is one of the previous owners here with us? Can you walk towards or touch that device in the middle of the floor? Is it okay that everyone is here right now? All right, so Nick and I are about to leave. Uh, we want to thank each and every one of uh, the, the entities here with us. Uh, thank you for speaking with us and letting us be in this home. Uh, we hope that you protect this family from all of the negative energies we have hopefully cast it away. If it's okay for us to leave and everything is going to be okay, can you give us a sign? Will you let us know? It doesn't have to be now or right away, but will you just give us a sign that this home will be okay?